Hello everyone. So before we start with today's video, let us discuss all the activation functions that we have covered till now. We begin with sigmoid and tan edge. We discuss all their advantages and disadvantages. And after that, we learned that how a new activation function that was ReLU tried to solve the drawbacks, tried to solve the disadvantages of sigmoid and tan edge. So once we begin with ReLU, we discuss all its properties, advantages and disadvantages. And we learned how the disadvantages of ReLU, which was the dying ReLU problem, was solved by its variants, leaky ReLU, P ReLU and ELU. After that, we discussed a new activation function, a new activation function that was GLU or gated linear units. Once we completed the GLU, the ELU, then we discussed three brand new activation functions, which were soft plus, max out and swish. That were all the activation functions that we have covered till now. And in this video, we will be covering a very new activation function that is MISH. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first, let us see the formula of MISH activation. So the formula of MISH activation looks something like this. Here you can see that this portion is basically the formula of soft plus activation. So yeah, we can say, we can easily say that MISH activation is a, is a modified version of soft plus, or I can say that MISH activation is a modified gated form of soft plus activation. So here, uh, the formula of soft plus is log of one plus e to the power of X. And if we put this term inside tan H and multiply it by X, that is the value that you will be getting after pre activation, you will get the MISH activation. So MISH activation is a modified gated form of soft plus activation. If we talk about its graph, it will look something like this. Here you can say that for the positive values, the graph is a straight line so, uh, similar to ReLU and for the negative values, the value of the output for negative values of X will increase negatively. And after that, for increasingly negative values, the value of the graph will decrease and will approach zero. So these are the properties of MISH activation. Now let us discuss some of the advantages of MISH activation. So the first advantage is that MISH activation function is unbounded. So basically it means that it does not face the problem of saturation, which you, uh, which you basically uh, faced earlier during the sigmoid activation. So in sigmoid activation, there was a problem of uh, saturation because the values were squashed between zero and one. Uh, the maximum value was going to be one and the minimum value was going to be zero. So that was a problem of saturation that we were facing in Sigma. Here you can say that there is no bounding uh, for increasing value of X, you will get increasing output. So yeah, the, it does not face the problem of bounding. Therefore, it does not face the problem of saturation. And the second advantage is that for small negative values, the uh, there will be some output. And for increasing negative values, there will be no output. That is the increasingly negative values will be uh, zeroed out. Basically, it is the same stuff that was happening during the swish activation. Now, let us discuss the third point. But before we discuss the third point, let us understand what will be the advantage of, uh, of not zeroing out the small negative values. That is this area. So because of this year, there will, uh, the activation function will give output for small negative values that is for the, uh, for the small negative input that it will receive. Therefore, there will be a better gradient flow. Therefore, the efficiency of the model will increase. Uh, now let us discuss the third point that is that the MISH activation here, you can see in the graph of MISH activation that the graph is smooth and continuous at every point. So because of that, the graph is smooth at zero, unlike ReLU, and therefore the uh, the MISH activation uh, possesses higher effective optimization and generalization properties. So that was all about MISH activation. Now let us compare MISH activation uh, with SWISH and ReLU, and we will compare them on the basis of their accuracy on different kinds of model. So here you can see that there is a list of different kinds of model and their respective accuracies on MISH, SWISH and ReLU activation. Here you can see that for ResNet, WRN, DenseNet, Res, uh, ResNext, MobileNet and basically every other model, the accuracy of MISH activation is far better than ReLU and basically comparable to that of Swish. So from here we can say that MISH activation function is a really amazing function and in most of the models its accuracy is better than that of ReLU.
So that was all for today, guys. In this video, we learned everything you needed to know about mesh activation. We also briefly discussed what all activation functions have we covered so far, and we discussed them in a form of a story so that uh, it will feed into your brains much more easily. And uh, that was all for today. In the next video, we will be learning about what is what are loss functions why do we need loss functions and after that we will be dealing with basically every kind of loss function present in the world so we will meet in the next video until then bye bye